So in this file, there are two variables you can see the income, and we are having the income group less than 5 lakh, 5 to 10 lakhs, and more than 10 lakhs. So it is a nominal variable with three categories. Similarly, uh, there are three type of budgets, there are three type of phones. Budget phone means sasta phone, simple phones, mid segment phones, and flagship means costly phones or luxury phones. So if I call it luxury, then you will understand it's better. So luxury phones like Apple 5, Apple i5, i6, or because I don't have any of the luxury phones, I do not know the names of these phones. So there are two type of variables, income variable, uh, which is nominal, a phone type, which is nominal. And my research question is, can I say the income of the uh, people, customers, have association with the type of phone they have? Right, so both, with, both the variables are nominal. Right. So I just write few things here so that you can relate to what I told you. Number one, what is my research question? Research question is that whether, because whenever you write a paper or a thesis, your research question should come first. So whether the phone, right, held by the customers depends upon or uh, depends upon their income or not. Depends upon their income. Okay. Now, what is the hypothesis? Null hypothesis we will write in this way. There exists no significant association. So, you should know how to write the hypothesis. There exists no significant association between the type of phone, type of mobile phone and their level of income. So this is the research question. This is the null hypothesis and how I will uh, check this null hypothesis. So let me write down the steps. Step number one. So we have to see the value of Pearson chi-square. And its probability value. And its p-value. Step number two, we have to see Kramer value, Kramer v. Kramer v. Step number three, we compare actual frequency with uh, expected frequency and step number four is conclude. So these four steps we are going to discuss now. So let me, I hope you understand this and we can proceed. So let's see the, uh, see the command. We go to analyze descriptive and cross tab. So we are going to apply this uh, test. So now the question is that there are two options, rows and columns. And we are having two variables, income and phone, right? So phone and income. So one have to send to the column and one has to send, one we have to send to the row. Now the question is that which variable should go to the row and which variable should go to the column. So most of the scholars ask me, how can we decide that which variable will go to the row and which variable should go to the column. So then I say, now think in this way, whether income is having the impact of phone type or phone type is having the impact of the income, right? So uh, uh, whatever income you have is a is influenced by the phone type or whatever phone you are having is influenced by your income. So one variable is dependent variable and another variable is an independent variable. So independent variable should go to the row like income is independent here and its effects comes on the phone type. So dependent variable comes on the column. It is a, it is a basic rule of chi-square test that the uh, independent variable should go for the row and dependent variable should go for the column. So I hope you have clarity in this. Now, after that, you go to the cell, cell. So you can see the third option, cell. In this option, we want expected value also because comparison you have to do with the expected value, right? 
Okay, so the third option you can see here, the software is uh, giving you one option that do you want to hide small counts which are less than five? So this is because of the rule of five in, in the uh, chi-square test, but I'm not giving selecting this command. So let it be whatever, whatever be the answer. And after that, I will go to the statistics. Uh, if I click on the statistics, the software is asking you what uh, what you want. So I want chi-square with five value and let's click on continue. Because we are applying the uh, relationship between the nominal variables, so we have to see only this section. So in this section, the uh, phi and grammar V is selected and chi-square value is also be selected. Click on the continue and we almost selected each and every required step. After that, yeah, we can go for the bar chart. If we want to report the difference with the help of bar chart, you can click on it and now go to OK. So when you click OK, now remember the steps. So first step number one, what is the step number one? See the value of chi-square test. Okay, so let me write the stepwise results. In this case, step number one. So here chi-square value is Pearson chi-square, you have to check this value. So Pearson chi-square value is 21.678. And probability value of this chi-square is 0 0.000. So what is the conclusion here? Conclusion is that a null hypothesis can be rejected. Why it, is, why it can be rejected? Because probability value is less than 0.05. So here we are not having any standard value of chi-square. We don't compare chi-square value with any standard value. Rather, we compare the probability value. Because probability value is less than 0.05, so null hypothesis can be rejected. So whenever null hypothesis can be rejected, now we can move to step number two. So if we are accepting the null hypothesis here, we will not go further. And you stop here. If null hypothesis is not rejected, right, then you should not go to the step number two. But here we are rejecting the null hypothesis, so we can go for step number two. What is step number two? Kramer V. Kramer V. Now, what is the value of Kramer V? So you can see it is 0 0.329. 0 0.329. So you also know the formula, but uh, this formula we write only in the research papers or the thesis. Uh, here, formula is not required. So because Kramer V is less than 0 0.5, right? So what is the conclusion here? Since Kramer V is less than 0 0.5, so the association is significant, but this association is moderate. Moderate association. This association is moderate. Moderate association. Right? Now, the third step. After deciding the step number one, that there is a significant association between the two and the nature of association is moderate. Now we are going to give the final conclusion. How we give the final conclusion? By comparing, by comparing the actual and the expected, right? Now for comparing, let's move to the uh, table number one. So I hope there is, there is no problem in this. Everything should be clear because we will repeat these steps in three or four examples. So I expect that after uh, this, everything should be clear. Uh, let me move to the comparison part and uh, now compare. So let's compare. So first we compare in the budget phone. Let's compare the in, the in case of budget phone. What we have to find out where actually is more than expected. Where actual is more than expected. So this is actual and this is expected. So we have find out one where actual is more than expected in this case no in this case no right so it means the conclusion is the uh, customers income less than five lakhs are having a budget phone more than expected so we will write in this language so the customers who are having income more than 5 lakhs are having budget phones more than expected. Similarly, now we, we you, you can check for the uh, luxury phone, suppose. Now see luxury, where you have to find out one thing, where expected is more than actual. So we have find out here. Here expected is only 10, but actually is 19. 
so we can say high income group high income group uh, have luxury phone more than the expected more than the expected so what is expected actually is more than that right similarly you can conclude for the uh, mid mid phone like in in this case you can see that the ex actual value is more than the expected value so you can conclude like this so after this three step procedure the chi square test is over and you can report the result also by showing the graph so let me show the graph to you now we can say that in case of uh, more than 10 lakhs so the maximum is luxury phones in case of 5 to 10 lakhs the maximum they have is the mid phone and in, in the case of income less than 5 lakh maximum number of phones is the budget phone so this is the conclusion of the uh, research the research which we are doing here